Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, you'll see a new design on a tray that I DIY before. So to save myself some time, I'm using footage from the original DIY. Again, the look of this tray will be different. Yo, I'll be using two of these signs for Dollar Tree. I'm sure that you'll find these with different sayings on them and I'll have the measurements in the description below. I also have these two wooden sticks from Dollar Tree with sayings on them and they sold these last year. I actually saw some around Christmas time and I'm pretty sure they'll have more for Valentine's Day as well. But if not, you can find similar pieces at Home Depot for only a few dollars. I'll be sure to leave the measurements for these below as well. You'll need at least two packs of these tower blocks, a strong blade like a box cutter. I picked this one up at Dollar Tree, some strong adhesive or some wood glue. I'll remove this label later. I removed it from this one already. As you can see, there's still some residue and I need to remove that as well. For the other two ends of my tray, I'll need to build a piece like this, and it consists of 24 blocks in all, and it'll sit inside these two pieces just like this. Oh, and I'll be using this masking tape as well. Now I'll show you how to use the tower blocks to build the two pieces that you'll need to make the tray. I'm using Gorilla Glue to glue the blocks together. If you don't have it, wood glue will work just as well. After gluing my first few sets together, I use these two pieces of wood to line up my glue pieces perfectly. Now I'll glue two sets of blocks together. Now I add some masking tape to hold these in place while they dry. Then I'll come back and add my final row of blocks. All right, so I'll carefully remove that. I'm gonna sit that there by the window and let that dry. Now I'll go ahead and remove this and the sticky residue from this one as well. And I removed the sticky goo that was on there. So now what I want to do is go ahead and start putting my tray together. You could use some wood glue, but I don't have any. So again, I'll be using my clear Gorilla Glue. You just want to put a generous amount on each block. And then put them in place. I'm going to hold these together with tape while the glue sets up. After I was done gluing the sides in place, I added more tape to stabilize the tray until the glue set up. So this has been drying for about two hours. So I want to go ahead and start gluing my base onto my tray. And again, I'm using these little boards from Dollar Tree. And I'm sure that they have some for Christmas as well. So I'm just gonna line this up, put some glue between the two. Again, I'm using the Gorilla Glue. Press them together. Now I'm going to add some tape to this as well. Now I spread some glue on all four parts of the tray. Now that I'm done adding the glue, I'll flip this over onto the base. I lined it up with one edge of the base and then pressed it down. I put down a couple of beads of hot glue to hold it in place while the glue starts to set up. So 
So I'm gonna let this sit for a couple of hours and then come back and move on to the next step. Before I move on, I'm gonna nail the base to the frame before I cut the frame to size. And I'm using some really small one inch nails. I'll continue to add more nails to my tray and then come back. Before I move on, I'll remove those two beads of hot glue that I put down earlier. So I went ahead and removed all the glue that I put down. So now what I want to do is just press up against it and score it. Line this up with the edge and just pop it just like that. Now I'll hammer a few more nails in and then I'll have a fully functional sturdy tray. Next I remove the tape and now I have this really sturdy tray that only cost me $6 to build. Okay guys, so here's my tray. Because I had lettering on the inside, I went ahead and painted it white first, and then went over it with a coat of silver. And here's the bottom, and I definitely will be covering this with some felt later. Okay, so as you can see in the center, I really didn't spray paint it that well, and that's because I'm going to add some of these tiles to it. I have some pillow stick wall tiles from Dollar Tree. And this is recently, so guys, they are starting to bring these back. I'm gonna use some of these to decorate the inside of the tray. I used these before on another creation. It was a wall shelf and I'll link it below so you guys can see it, but yeah. I'm gonna put this right in the center like this and then fill in those spaces with more of the tiles. And I'm not gonna measure, I'm just gonna eyeball it. So let's get started. And it's really not sticking well, so I'm going to have to add my adhesive to help it stick better. So I'm going to use some Fix-All to help hold this in place. Okay, that's much better. And I'm sure it's not sticking because I have some residue from the paint on the bottom. I really could just sand it out, but I don't feel like it. <laughs> so I'd rather just put down some Pixar glue to help hold the towel in place. Now I'm gonna lay it here, then create a crease to show me exactly where I need to cut it. Okay, here you can see the crease, and I'll use an X-Acto knife to cut it. Here's what I took off. Now I'll lift it up, put down some fix-all glue. Now I'll turn this around and do the same thing. I finished adding the rest of the tiles off camera. Okay, I'm back and this is what it looks like completed. I think it took about five or six different towels to complete it because I wanted all the towels to match evenly. So if that doesn't matter to you, then you can use the excess pieces and just fill in those extra spaces. But it was really important to me to have them all line up. And as you can see, I've already put a handle on the side. So let's go ahead and show you how I did that. This is the handle that I'll be using. 
Found these on Amazon. All right, these so I know I want my handles to fit high and about here. I didn't measure the other side, but I will measure this side. So I think I wanted them to go on this set, this second set of blocks. I'm just gonna just put a line across. So I want them to go about that low. Let's see if I can pop this up here. Can you see that? Okay, I want it to go about here. And you know this groove needs to be dead center. So I'm gonna put a line right in the middle. So I have a drill and I have a Dremel. You can use either one, but unfortunately I don't have a drill bit that's the same size as these screws. Since it's really strong, I'm gonna use this to make my pilot holes. Then I'm gonna come back in with my drill and make the hole bigger. Be very careful when using a Dremel or a drill. Now I'm going to go in with my drill bit. Now you can just use a drill. Like I said, if you have a drill with a bit just as big, but my drill right now is kind of weak. I didn't let it fully charge, so it's not as strong as it could be. So I'm just going to use it to make the hole bigger. All right, so now let's try a screw. Goes through. Now I'm going to make sure that everything lines up properly. If it doesn't, then I can make the hole bigger to where it does. Just like that, you have your handles. So I'm going to clean this up and come back. Okay guys, I'm back. And as you can see, I've already started decorating my tray. I've already decorated the sides with some bling. I call it box bling because it's like little boxes. And on the top, I use some regular diamond wrap or bling wrap, whatever you want to call it. And then on the inside, I did it as well. And on the outside here. I also reattached the handle. Here's the bling that I'm using on the side. All I did was line it up with my tray and then cut it. Let me just use this to kind of prop it up. So I'm going to use my hot glue to glue this onto here. Just like that. And I'll just keep going. I'm trying to get glue on each block. So I'm gonna to continue to glue this all the way on, come back and move on to the next step. Now I'll glue some bling to the inside of the tray. So I have this gigantic roll of bling from totallydazzle.com and I'll be sure to link her below if you're interested in getting one of these large rolls from her. So all I did was line this up and then cut it. I'm sure I'm cutting it a little bit longer than what I need just to make sure I have enough. Okay, now I'm going to flip this over and make it a whole lot easier for me to glue it down. Now you can use hot glue to glue this down, but once the hot glue solidifies, it's not as clear. You can see that it's cloudy. So it'll still be noticeable. Instead of using hot glue, I'm gonna use some fix-all from Dollar Tree. 
So if you decide to use a fix all, make sure your windows are open. Make sure you're getting some fresh air. Put on a mask if you want to. So I'm just going to put the glue down and use a popsicle stick to smooth it out. Now you just lay the bling right on top. So now I'll lay a strip of bling on top. And here I'm cutting holes into the bling to accommodate the handles. We'll shape to make sure that both pieces are fit. So now I'm done with that. I'll go ahead and put some on the inside as well. And make smaller holes to accommodate the screws. So this is what it looks like on the outside. And that's what it looks like on the inside. I only took four pieces out, like a square here and a square here to accommodate the screw. So now all I need to do is put the screws in on this side. So now I'm going to use some rhinestone to cover those screws. Now if you ever need to remove them, glue these on with some hot glue so you'll be able to pop them right off. Alright, so just like that. Go back in and check. Make sure that everything's flat. This is what it looks like. Again, there's the bottom. I'm going to add some felt to the bottom. If you wanted to add feet, I would add the feet, then paint the bottom, or add the felt afterwards. But I'm not going to add any feet to this because I want it to just lay flat, just like so. And here's a tray displayed with four beautiful crystal glasses. And I displayed it this way for my daughter. She wants this tray for her wedding. She thinks that it'll make a beautiful wedding serving tray. And yes, I have that much confidence in my tray. It's a fully functional serving tray that can be held by the handles. This tray can be used in so many different ways. Here I have it displayed as a bed tray. But you can also use it on your dining room table, your foyer, in your living room, your bathroom, and even on your bedroom dresser to display your perfumes and jewelry. And don't forget there's so many different ways that you can decorate your tray. Initially I was going to do this farmhouse style, but I changed my mind. Okay everyone, this completes my DIY. I hope that I inspired someone to recreate this tray. And if you have plans on doing so, please comment below. I'd love to hear about it. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay, everyone, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.